I like to do things that make a difference to blind people, build cool, interesting, fun technologies that also have an impact on people's lives. And I like to have fun while I do it. My name is Joshua Mealy, and I am a designer of accessible technologies for blind people. There's tons of stuff that blind people have to figure out that is much easier for people who can see. And so it's super important to make sure that technology is easy to access, that they're inexpensive, open source, and readily achievable by as many people as possible. So always good to make it cheap, make it easy, and make it available. One of the things that I'm really proud of is the, the Tactile Maps automated production system. Before this was available, Tactile Maps were always art projects. They were something that one person would make as a labor of love for another person. And so there weren't ways for just anybody to get a map of anywhere. And now people can get a tactile street map of any place they want. The San Francisco Lighthouse is not only offering the production of these maps, but also offering the ability for anybody with their own Braille embosser to connect up to the website, request whatever map they want, and download it and print it out for free. So it's totally turned around in terms of the availability of tactile maps for blind people to enhance independent travel and confidence of learning new neighborhoods. Over the years, I've worked on various ways of making maps computer assisted so that you can touch different parts of the map and get specific information about what you're touching. For example, if I tap on a bus stop, stop on southwest corner of Martin Luther King Jr. Way and 40th Street, buses from this stop, AC Transit 18. It would have been impossible to squeeze all that information onto this map in Braille. A lot of the time, accessibility for blind people really means access to information. What you describe was a demonstration of a concept I had, the idea of allowing anybody to add audio description to videos. Audio description is the equivalent for blind people of what captions are for deaf people. Traditionally, audio description has been created by professionals. So my idea was, why can't anybody record descriptions and all it is is a YouTube player that also has an audio recorder built into it. When other people watch that video, your voice will be there to describe that part of the video at the appropriate moment. One of the most exciting things about it from my perspective is that it takes it out of the hands of professionals and puts it into the hands of the public. You describe has a request system built into it so that people can request videos to be described. And then the you describe community can prioritize those videos for adding descriptions. I'm really happy with being a blind professional and father and friend. I'm proud of the community that I'm part of. And I love building and imagining cool technologies for blind people.